Hey everybody. So if you're here watching this video, you probably made the decision to install PCE to help you with Elite Dangerous. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through some of the information on this Elite Dangerous uh, forum thread that talks about TCE. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the install, talk a little bit about uh, importing a database, show you how that's done, and then talk about error reporting. So I'll have timestamps in the description if you want to skip to any one of those sections. So look for those timestamps down below. All right, so looking at this forum thread for TCE, I'm just going to go through it quickly. And as a, a note right up front, obviously I'm not the creator of TCE, this guy Eventure right here is the guy that made it. So, um, and he's active on the, on the forums. So if you want to, you know who did it, Eventure is the man. So TCE, Trade Computer Extension, uh, it talks about here some of the features that it has and you can go through those on the, on the forum page. I'll put a link to that down below as well. So you can link straight to this uh, forum thread. And it talks about the latest releases. You can look at change logs if you need to. There's some screenshots of in-game panels so you can get an idea of what it looks like and or what it's supposed to look like and uh, before you install it. It talks about the prerequisites, uh, borderless window mode. That's important. Everybody's probably got this uh, C++ redistributable by now. Uh, EDMC is important. Um, I've been using it for years. I've never had any problems with it. It's basically the Elite Dangerous Market Connector, and it's a separate program written by somebody else that ties directly into FDEV's API that posts all this information that EDMC then goes and grabs, and it's uh, information about your ship, uh, how, what your loadout is, com uh, commodity information, shipyard data. It's, it's the tool that TCE uses to uh, take the information and populate all the things that you see within TCE. So let's just take a quick look at that in case you haven't done that yet. Uh, follow this link and it takes you to this web page where you can get EDMC, Elite Dangerous Market Connector. Just go down to installation here. And it shows you the MSI is right here. So you click on that latest release. It takes you to whatever the latest release is at the time that you're doing this install. Scroll down and click on this MSI file and then download it. So I've already saved it um, previously when I first installed EDMC a while ago and ran it and installed EDMC. So you just save it here and then double click on the MSI file and it'll install EDMC. It's a very small, lightweight program that doesn't take up a lot of resources. Uh, the one thing that I will point out is that it asks you to log into your FD account, and that's because, as I said, it goes to FD's API and gets the information for your pilot. And obviously it can't do that unless you give it the, the password for getting to your account. If you're not comfortable with that, don't do it, obviously. You know, you and you alone are responsible for what you install on your computer. But again, I've been using this for years. I've never had a problem. I've never read about a problem. I don't think there's anything nefarious going on here, but you make that decision yourself. And you can always go to the FD forums and ask about it if you have any questions about what it does. So that's EDMC. Um, and then there's a little bit more information. There's a wiki here. It's got a lot of good information. A fact, again, a lot of good information. Just quickly click on this wiki. Uh, you can see it's uh, 32 pages of information. This is a good source uh, to go ahead and read before you uh, go ahead and use it or you have any problems or questions. Go ahead and check that wiki first. And then there's facts. Download. Here's the key. Uh, download the latest version right there. Um, and then there's also some other information. So there's some guides here, video and text. Some of these I did, some of them eventures done. And it's just kind of, you know, visual help for using TCE and how, it, how I use it in a couple instances, just as examples. 
and then there's a voice attack profile uh, from Fox per and then a list of supporters so this is free it doesn't cost you anything you probably already know that but uh, you can also make a donation within TCE after you're using it there's a spot in the options panel where you can uh, make a donation so that's kind of it for the preamble uh, next uh, let's go ahead and just download the latest version so clicking on that link takes you to dropbox.com this is where the MSI is that you need to download just go over here to this download button and click on download direct download if you get a pop-up box about signing in you don't need to do that to download this file you don't need to sign in or anything just go ahead and save the file I've already saved it it's already here but save it to wherever you want it doesn't matter and that's the file that you're going to extract and use to install TCE so I'm not going to save it but you would all right so this is that file 1825 1.8.2.5 so once you have that you can close Dropbox and then go ahead to double click on that file to extract it you don't need to purchase WinRAR which is what I'm using to extract probably could have just uh, right click and extract but anyway extract to it's going to extract it to a, fo a folder you can pick it if you want change it wherever you want to do it go ahead and extract it close that and here's 1825 full that's the folder it made here's your MSI that you downloaded and then just double click on that and go from there all right so just in case anybody doesn't have WinRAR on their computer and you just want to uh, have a different way you don't need to have anything other than Windows so if you click on the file that you're trying to extract just go ahead and say open with and then Windows Explorer and then we'll show you the MSI file and then just copy and paste it wherever you want so I copied it I'm gonna paste it and boom there's your TCE setup MSI so you don't need WinRAR to get to it just wanted to show you that real quick so Clicking on this MSI file to install it, it'll take you to a simple wizard. Just click next. Which folder you want to install it to, that's up to you. I actually have a folder that I've already made. And it's TCE Jan 2020. That's so I know, you know, when I installed it. You can call it whatever you want. Okay. Next. And then install. let it do its thing that was pretty quick finish and it's installed so now all you need to do is go to the file that you, or the folder that you installed it to so here's TCE Jan 2020 and that's the folder that we just installed it to and then double click the exe and it'll start up TCE So that's me, that's my commander. And there it is. It's up to date. It tells you it's up to date down here at the bottom. It tells you the version you're on, 1.8.2.5 in this case. And here's the information uh, that it has from EDMC. Now, so once you've got it installed, um, you're good to go. You, now, you don't have any markets in your database yet. You need to fly around to get markets in your database. You can also import um, some data for your local area. I'll go through that in a different video, but you've got it installed. You're done. You're good to go. And so I'm just going to show you that it comes up and uh, import my old database. So here's importing my database what we want to do is transfer so we want to get my old database and it's going to ask me hey where's your old database at so I'm going to just pick that out real quick here that's where all my DB files live the most recent install prior to this one so it found them all that's good and I'm going to start the transfer 
So it's going to take all my database files from my last install and import them into this one. So go through each one and shouldn't have any problems. So we'll let it do that. And it looks like we'll, well, no, I'll let it run. See how long it takes. You can always skip forward if you want to. But again, I've been using this for a very long time. So I have a lot of information in my database. So obviously if you're starting out, you don't have a database. And if you haven't played that long and you do have a database, you know, the amount of time it's going to take to transfer all those uh, DBs is going to be different for you. So I'll just wait for this to finish. All right, so everything's transferred at this point. I'm good to go. Um, you could verify them if you want. You don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That'll take a few extra seconds, but this just goes through from my understanding and make sure there's no errors in any of the database files that are brought over. It's just good to do, and it doesn't take that long, you can see. Okay, so I've transferred my database, verified it, I'm good to go. It has all my information from my last install of TCE. So at this point I can go ahead and launch TCE if I want to. You can see it brought up the elite ranks now. So I'm going to go ahead and launch. And it may pop up on a different monitor here in my old settings. As I said, it's been a while since I played, probably a year. Okay, there it is. So it's a little bit um, shifted. Let me see if I can remember how to do this. That's not it. Panel. Whoops. Panel. There we go. Kind of drag that into the middle. And I'll go, you know, I can put up another video that talks about how to do that, how to move things around. All right. So that's it. It's installed. It knows where I am. HIP 19.934 Fozar doc, and it's it's good to go at this point. There's really nothing else to do. So that's it for the install. Hopefully that helps. Let me close this main control UI. And next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be error reporting, which is the last thing. So give me one second. Okay, so error reporting. Let's say you're having some kind of problem with TCE, it's not doing what you expect, or it's it's throwing an error, having a problem. The way to get help, of course, you can go to this forum, uh, the Elite Dangerous forum in the TCE thread that I talked about earlier. And But what you want to do first is go to Control, and then Options, and then down here you see Report a Bug. When you click on that, there's a couple things that happen. You see it's creating a report. What it's doing is making a 7-zip file that you can include in an email to eVenture so you let him know what's going on and he has some information to work with. You can see here it says no email client installed. It's fine. Um, it gives you his email address. Add your forum name, any screenshot, and the error message details. Click the details button on the at the error message if available and attach the error report files blah 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 dot 7z file from your TCE installation folder so that's one of the things that it did was it created this error report file 7zip so just OK this now you can see when I get rid of that you can see right here here's the error report file that's the 7zip file that you want to add to an email to adventure so just create an email, tell them what's going on, you know, give them a description, and then attach this file to it, this 7-zip file. And that will give him the information that he needs to help troubleshoot whatever the issue is. Uh, if you're worried about, hey, what's in this file, what am I sending him? Uh, let's just uh, extract these. 
sure. Yes, I'm not. I'm not buying Rimrock today. Sorry. So you can see. Um, let me make this smaller so you can actually see what's going on. Apologize. So you can see what it's what it's what's actually in that 7-zip folder file. It's your journal, your net log, uh, the status, your d your databases. That's probably what's the most important part is all your databases, so he can try to track down what problem you're having where it is and how he might fix it and that's that's me here's my some commander databases anyway the, the point is you can look to see exactly what you're sending him if you're concerned about that and uh, send it to him or don't send it to him of course it's gonna help him if you send it to him I've sent him to him haven't had any problems he's always helped fix uh, any issues and like I said he's active on this uh, forum thread so go ahead and help them fix the problem that you're having send them that 7z and that's it that's it for error reporting okay so one thing I also want to mention is uninstalling TCE it's real easy you just go down to the folder where you installed it and delete it boom it's gone you don't have to go through any process there's no file to run just delete the folder and you're good to go so hopefully you found this video helpful and again there'll be links down in the description along with timestamps and thanks for watching have a good one